All right, just arrived in Tallinn, Estonia. It's raining a little bit, but um, man, it is beautiful here. The nature is very lush and a lot of beautiful, natural looking foliage I like. Forgive the camera, like I said in the previous video, the my tripod broke in uh, Helsinki, but I noticed this uh, this bust right here, and it's of uh, Dostoevsky. I was reading up on it, and it was given to uh, Estonia by the um, uh, Russian uh, government and uh, one of the great. Russian uh, philosophers right here. There he is. Cool. So Yeah, I'm gonna go and try to find this place. I think it's called Marzipan Gallery. Apparently they say that it's up for debate whether Marzipan was invented in either Germany or Estonia. I don't know, but I know my mom loves it. So I wanna see what this place is about. Ooh, cool, skate park, nice. Maybe not now, but let's go through here, why not? Um, but yeah, let's go uh, check out this marzipan place. It should be open right when I arrive, I believe. If you don't know marzipan, it's a, it's made, it's a kind of like a candy. It's made out of an almond paste and they like to shape it into different things. Usually tends to be, uh, fruits, but I, I wonder where it could be many different things here probably, so let's check it out. Okay, just got, I gotta uh, taste some of these uh, marzipan before I bought them. And I went with this variety pack, really good stuff. And we got like a blueberry one here, the classic, pistachio, orange, a spiced one. And then um, another almond one. This is just like a uh, like a stronger almond flavor. This one than uh, this one. And the blueberry one was really good. Never had that before. So yeah. Um, here is where there's actually a marzipan museum. So that should be cool. Uh, yeah, the whole place is pretty cool actually. I think I'm the first one here. They just unlocked the door. Okay, so I just got downstairs at this place, the Marzipan Gallery to their museum. It's cool, it's definitely bizarre, and it's definitely unique, but everything here is made out of almond paste. What the heck? So, yeah, I mean, I mean, in theory, you could eat her face, I guess if you wanted to, kind of weird, but yeah, uh, man, that is insane, like, what? No way, this seems like life-size almond paste. Wait a second, okay. Why am I getting like Eddie Murphy? Okay. This dude is like, maybe like a young boom? I don't know, probably not. Oh, we already know this guy. 
Freaking far quad. We out here, dude. Um, yeah, I think they dropped the ball on this one. I mean, I see what you're going for. No. But, I mean, no way. You got dogs covered in puppies. Got some gnomes out here. Okay, I see you're coming from a Disney thing, I guess. I do Tigger. Uh, I mean, probably at this point, none of this stuff is edible. It's been sitting here for so long. I can literally see dust on it, but man, this is, this is some cool stuff. Marzipan, everything. That's crazy. Finally, over here, we got some masks. Some other figurines. And then some of the original marzipan stuff here. Right, you get your syrup, your powdered sugar, and your almond. So this is what it is. the marzipan is, looks like originally. Production process, I guess. Huh. Okay. Well, that's the marzipan gallery. Let's go back upstairs. So I'm leaving the marzipan place right now. Cool, right? And then I noticed across the street this building very interesting right here that one yeah that um, used to be uh, prison cells for the KGB um, but now they turn into a museum with a bunch of um, archives of KGB history and stuff like that so definitely gonna check that out later but right now I am gonna head to that cafe right there with the white flag you see. Hopefully they got some Wi-Fi and get some stuff done on the computer a little bit. Got a bunch of places with these little knickknacks and stuff like that. Not really my thing, but you know, that's cool, I guess. Oh my God. Wow, even in Tallinn. This place is literally called Texas. and has like the Lone Star flag. <laughs> How random. I gotta get a better look at this. I just, <laughs> what the heck? Bruh. What is going on? Is it a restaurant? Okay. Tortillas, burritos, tacos, quesadillas. Texas tomato soup. Can't say I've heard of that. All right, let me go to this cafe before I get run over by a car. Yeah, I know I'm in the bathroom right now at this place, but the aesthetic is kind of cool in here. These bells and stuff like that. And it's like green on the wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But sometimes they go a little bit too far with the aesthetic, right? Like, you got, you still gotta have function, right? But instead of a plunger, no, no, no. We got a golf club. I mean, I get it, like, with the green, but like, what? Like, you just decide, nah. I'm, I'm gonna go with the golf club, not the plunger. Okay. I respect it, I guess, you know. Like, sticking with the team. That's cool. But no. 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 An optical device for surveillance that allows one person to look through a one millimeter opening. 
It was something they used for state security and the KGB. But where, where is that? <clears throat> is that this thing? Oh, it's this thing right here. Yo, that's crazy. Check it out. So you can't, see, you, we're looking where it is. But right there, there's a super, super tiny hole and they use that for surveillance. It's one millimeter wide. I wonder if I can get it on camera. Okay. Yep, yeah, that's it. Wait. That's the hole for surveillance. That little tiny thing. They used that in, what, the 70s? Yeah. Okay. Some top secret documents, you know. It's not very secret if we can read it. Or I can't read it though, it's like I mean, of course it's in like 10 different languages. <laughs> I guess this is what it would have looked like. This is a cell that was preserved. also used it in World War II, they say. I know, I was reading that too. This is like, I know. They would just like hold people indefinitely in isolation. They call them cupboards. I don't know. What's going on here? Uh, okay, this is some uh, Ukrainian um, support. Wow. Okay, we got some Monsanto. Eight here. What else? I'm smoking those until the dose are half and open for me. I'm smoking potent, pouring potions, see they poaching the leaves. I'm low key loafing, lazy low for dodging priorities. But I'm sure once I'm done, they're going to be waiting for me. Every place so far I've been to in Europe, there's been so much like, you know, Putin hating, understandably, but. I didn't think I would see it in public so much, you know, but they're affected by it every day. What is that instrument? Check that out. So how do you uh, change the like the notes? Uh, it's like I press up the keys, like. Wow. Okay. Here, so for like each string, except this, I have like. And the 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 one that you're holding right now, you use that's like the drone. Yeah. This is just. This. Yeah. Okay. That one doesn't change. Yeah. Yeah. And okay. the little strings are sympathetic. They go like automatic, but I don't play them. Oh. Okay. If you look here. And I play, then you see it's like uh, my writing. So yeah. This is how it, it's like magic things. <laughs> oh, all right. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.